Hi, I'm Colby Huffman, Indiana's 2012 PGA Teacher of the Year. To recap, I want you to have six basic steps in your golf swing, six checkpoints so that you have an idea where you want to be throughout your swing. Just some basic fundamental checkpoints. Step one, I want to see that club in this position here where the butt end points right to your belt buckle. You haven't whipped it inside where you're pointing it out toward right field there. You want to make sure that the right elbow here points down to that right hip. So as you take it back, the right elbow points down to that right hip. We haven't, again, rolled it to the inside or gone up this way. Very important. Step two, go ahead and wind on up. The wrists have now hinged 90 degrees. We have an L formed here with our left arm in the club. From this angle, you can see we're not parallel to the ground. We're not straight up and down. It's just at an angle here pretty much pointing down to, to the ball line or the, the, the target line, pretty much where the ball is there. Uh, again, the right arm, the right elbow points to that right hip. We don't want it flying up in the air. To get to step three, it's just to turn to the top then. We don't want to lift our arms. We don't need to hinge the wrists anymore. We pretty much just rotate the upper body to the top. So we have step two and then turn to step three so that the club is over that right shoulder pretty much pointed at your target. Okay, so we don't want to point it way over here, we don't want to point it there. As long as you're within a few inches of this area, play some golf. Don't get fixated on the exact perfect spot. Just don't, don't get it up over your head, not back here behind your waist. Somewhere over that right shoulder there. On the way down, the club wants to point to the ball at step four. So you see the club face square where that bottom edge is vertical in this fashion and the arms and hands are inside a chin wall. What I mean by that, if there was a wall straight down from your chin, you want those hands and arms inside that chin wall. We don't want to crash through that imaginary wall. We want to keep our hands and, and arms back inside that chin wall with the club pointing right to the ball. From there, step five, get to impact position. The weight shifted to the left. The right knee would point to the ball. You have this lowercase y formed by the left arm and the club and the right arm form a lowercase y. That would be step five. And then step six, the finish. We want to finish up through your ears. We don't want to finish up over our head, down the back, pretty much right through the ears. In the upcoming videos, I'll discuss how you can take those six steps to the course.